Bristol Street. Well, I hope you all had a happy Easter and didn't eat as many eggs as I did. I must admit, I'm feeling decidedly full now. Well, the musical introduction we just had to our show came from some of the pupils from Beacon Hill School, and they did a Beatles night a few weeks ago. Let me introduce to you, if I can remember their names. Gabriel. Hannah. And Eleanor. I got that in the right order that time, didn't I? Yes. Well, they put on a Beatles night for charity. And let's have a look and see their version of Michelle. That's really good. What's so special about the Beatles? Why did you decide on the Beatles? Oh, they play good music and I think they take a slight them too. Yes, they're certainly very good. Have any of you seen any of the Beatles films? No. no. I can just about remember the odd one or two. Funny. Mm. I'm getting old. <laughs> now, you're all wearing black and white. Why is it you're wearing black and white? Is it something special? Um, it was the fashion in the 60s to wear black and white mini skirts and angular patterns. Yeah. And so the Beatles wore black and white as well? Yeah. 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 So who's your favourite Beatle out of all of them? John Lennon. Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. I think mine's John Lennon as well. I must stick with Gable for this one. John Lennon's definitely my favourite Beatle. Well, later on in the show, we're going to be, or I'm going to be setting these three a task of something to do. But for now, let's have a look at your pictures in today's gallery. And the first 
first picture today is gallery is of two people on a seven B pack. Chad Rimani, who's age seven. And a lovely, brightly coloured songbird, Bennett, who is seven and a half. And a lovely rainbow, brightly coloured picture with all sorts of blobs and squiggles on from the Rebecca Lawton collection. Rebecca's aged five. And a picture of some birds flying in the sky and people looking out of the window from Lavina Chadrumani, who's age 10. And finally, a rather lovely portrait from Shalini Srifinivasan. I nearly managed to say that. Well done, Shalini. Well, once again, thank you for your lovely pictures. They really are nice to receive. If you'd like to send a letter or a picture into the gallery, then I'll remind you of the address at the end of the show. Don't forget to put your name and your telephone number and your address on the back. Well, now, I hope you've got your thinking caps on because it's time for Would You Believe It? Well, this week, Would You Believe It? is all about money. I've put 12 times 10 cents coins and 4 times 20 cents coins in a square like this. But would you believe it? There is a way of arranging them so that each line will add up to 50 cents whichever way you count them. Well, can you tell me the different ways that you can count them? You can count them down in columns. Down, down and up. Across. Across. Diagonally. Diagonally, good. Well, just to help you, I've made a grid of 16 squares. Take a look at this. And I've also filled in the first line for you. Have a go at home and see if you can finish off the rest. Well, I've got another would you believe it for all of you. Let me just get this for you. Would you believe it? That out of all of these kitchen items, you are going to make some musical instruments. No way. No way. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a quick look and see what we've got. We've got a few tins, cheese grater, all the unlikely things you wouldn't think of instruments, some chopsticks, pan lids. Yeah, you can take those. Some macaroni. You can have that. Some sort of bottle. Well, I think we'll just leave them to have a look at all of these bits and pieces and see what they can manage during the break. See you in a minute. Hello and welcome back to part two and now it's our story time. The well, last story this week is all about the Pied Piper and his adventures in Hamlin. Just look at these lovely pictures. Once upon a time, long ago, there was a town called Hamlin. It was a lovely town with a river on one side and a mountain on the other. It had fine houses and shops, had a church and a town hall, and it even had a fat mayor. So the people of Hamlin should have been happy, but they were not. They were utterly miserable. And what was it that made them so miserable? It was rats! Hamlin was absolutely full of rats. They chased the people, they fought the cats and dogs, they bit the children, they ate all the cheese and they licked up the soup, yes! And they gnawed at people's clothes and even crawled into people's hats. Oh, stop these rats! cried the people as they flocked to the town hall. They were furious with the fat man and his corporation. Do something! If you don't get rid of the rats, we'll get rid of you. Well, the mayor sat down with his corporation. He groaned in despair because he didn't want to stop being the mayor, but he had no idea how to rid Hamlin of the rats. And neither had the members of his corporation, and they scowled wretchedly. Only the rats were happy. Well, suddenly, there was a tap at the door. Oh no, not another rat! They cried in alarm, as if there weren't enough rats already. But it wasn't. It was a tall, thin stranger in red and yellow, and he had a reed pipe in his hands. He spoke curiously. On this magic pipe, I can play a strong charm to rid you of the pests that cause you alarm. Be it a rat or a bat, 
or the Chojola Viper, I will dance to the tune of the Piping Pied Piper. Well, the mayor and the corporation were delighted. Here was the perfect answer. They surrounded the Pied Piper and promised him anything, anything, as long as he got rid of the rats. Well, the Pied Piper asked for a thousand guilders as his fee, and the mayor promised faithfully to pay him that, and even more. So the Pied Piper walked out into the market square, followed by the awestruck mayor and the corporation. He began to play his pipe, and at the first notes of his magic, rats of Hamlin came scampering out, every single one of them. From houses and shops and cellars and roofs they came, dancing to the tune of the Pied Piper. But he began to dance along himself, playing his musical tune, and the rats followed. There were black rats and brown rats and grey rats and fat cats and father and mother rats and uncles and cousin rats and all sorts of rats. And they all danced after the piper, entranced by his music. Well, the mayor and corporation and the people of Hamlin stood by in wonder, as if rooted to the ground. And when the pie piper reached the river, he stopped, but he went on playing. And the whole multitude of rats went dancing past, unable to stop and so tumbled and plunged into the river to be washed away by the swift waters, and they were never seen again. Well, great joy among the people of Hamlin, who were rid of the rats at last. The Pied Piper returned to claim his reward, but the mayor, who was not only fat, but very mean too, snarled haughtily. Ha! Huh, that was an easy job. Anybody could have done that. Fancy asking a thousand gilded just for playing a tune. Take fifty and be off with you. Well, the Pied Piper stood still and he spoke quietly. You've broken your promise to pay me my due, so here is a tune of a different hue. And as he began to play on his pipe again, an astonishing thing happened. Well, I wonder if the Pied Piper is going to get all the money that he deserves, and I wonder what the astonishing thing was that happened. Let's see if everybody else is ready. Are you ready yet? Yes. Are you going to be ready in five minutes? Yes. Good. Well, in the meantime, here's Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse and Custard. Well, they're back and they're going to be very noisy. And here are the musicians in You Can Make It. It's like an absolutely amazing collection of instruments. Now, some of them still don't look very much like instruments, and others do. Can you explain what this is? This is a musical instrument here. Well, you get a kind of pot or a pan, yeah, and you just string a some or a one elastic band around it and you just pluck it. Can we hear that? It just makes a little plucking sound. Is there any other noise you can make with that? Well, you could pluck it around the sides and, and on the, the back. That's really good. What instruments have you been making? Um, well, there's one here that, um, we just have two bowls here, yeah. and we can go like this. Great. Love like this. And what have you been making? Um, well, I've got this. So what, how did you make that? That sounds good. Um, it's just got, um, noodles inside it, and just put paper on it. I cut with paper on, can I? Is there something else? You can also do this with it. There's all sorts of things you can do with these music instruments. Now, these bottles look interesting lined up here. Can anybody tell me what we are to do with those? You have to hit each one and it makes a different sound. Can we have a try? Why does it make a different sound? Um, because they're all um, full, filled up at different... Different lots of water. I don't know if the camera can see that. The water in this one is at this level. The water in this one is filled right up. And then the very last one has got no water in at all. So they're all going to make different sounds. Would you like to have a try for us? They get higher and higher as they go along. Well, well done. Did you enjoy doing it? Yeah. You find it difficult? No. Well, I was quite putting the elastic band. Yeah, yeah. something can be difficult. There's all sorts of other things. So you can also do anything like this at home, but do make sure before you disappear into the kitchen and ransack mum's wardrobes and mum's cupboards for bits and pieces, do ask her. All right? So make sure you ask everybody at home before you take out all these sharp implements. Well, if you'd like to send me a letter or a picture, then I'll remind you of the dress. If you'd like to write to Tracy King, AGV, room 430, 81, Broadcast Drive, Kowloon. 
Now we've actually got some other people who are going to come on and help us make an enormous noise. Come along, you two. You're going to make an enormous noise. Come on then. Come on this way. Quickly. Let's come down here. There we are. Right, everybody grab an instrument and we're all going to say bye-bye and shout. Are we ready? One, two, three. Bye-bye. <laughs>